Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're doing a mod review for the game. Now I found this mod a week or two ago on the Steam Workshop and it blew me away. This is one of the best mods I have seen in a while. If you've been around the channel long enough you know I love my super weapons and things that can blow anything up in Space Engineers. So when I saw this mod, the Atlas Super Laser, I was blown away by it. This mod is exactly what it says on a tin, it is a super laser, it fires giant beams of energy and rips through ships, yes it rips through ships. So we've seen a spinal laser weapon with by Krieg before, while this one is kind of like times 10. It will actually rip through the ship with the explosive effect. Now as you see on screen it is made by Wizard Lizard and they have done a fantastic job of bringing this mod alive. I was playing around with it last night while I was meant to be doing some work on Discord but uh, yeah this is super fun. If you haven't had a chance to download this mod yet, go and do it. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it today. So here you can see the laser directly in front of us now and it is a fantastic model. You can really see the connection points on the side and how the actual beam would generate from inside it and it's a compact block as well. Some weapon mods you get, they stretch for miles on end. This one's nice and compact but it does take a lot of energy to power this. So this is the specifications for it. The minimum charge rate is 550 megawatts. The maximum charge rate is 880 megawatts. The charge up until ready to fire is 400 gigawatts and the firing distance is 5000 meters. The effects are normal explosive and voxel damage. So this can actually cause voxel damage as well which is very impressive. Personally I can't wait to test this on a ship in a minute as it's going to be explosive. Now he's left a load of credits in there in, which you can go read on the Steam page. Suggest you go and read that but uh, I know what you're wanting. You want me to see to test this in a real world. So let's spawn in a ship and uh, see if we can blow some stuff up. Now, as with tradition, I've spawned in one of Dr. Kraz's battleships over here, seeing it's quite a beefy ship, and we're currently sat in a good amount of range. Let's go inside the bridge here. I'm using Venom's uh, Exile ship at the minute. Let's pop in here, and we'll see what we can do. So I've got my camera up front, so I know I can just aim right up here. So I think if we're looking there, we should shoot through the core of the ship. So let's see what we can do. Let's tab up here a minute. We'll go into here, Atlas Super Laser. Right, okay. So current power draw... Alright, energy charge is produced. Okay, so we might be able to fire. Let's give it a shot. Is it charging? I can hear it. Here we go. You can hear the energy build up. And fire. Whoa! You can feel the lag of it as it penetrates straight through the ship there. Ripping a hole right through it. I mean, look at that. Imagine a ship built with a couple of these. It could be deadly. And look how much damage. Now, unfortunately, Kraz's ship has a projector on it, but if we just quickly, uh, if we just quickly pop out of here a minute and remove that projector block, that should say, well, there we go. We can now see it. That ship tore a hole, or sorry, that weapon tore a hole right through this. And this battle cruiser or battleship of Kraz's is made out of heavy armor, but look at the damage it did here. Straight through two decks. Wow, I reckon we should fire again. Now this time I'll sit in my camera mode because I want to try and cause a bit more damage. Yep, I can hear it charging again. Let's see if we can rip through the entire thing this time. We'll start off a bow. It's charging. You may fire when ready. And get ready to rip through. Look at that, it's just ripping through the ship. Ooh, that was explosive and you can see the explosions carry on there as well. Let's just quickly get a view of that and see what we can, how much damage we did to it. I just need to pause the ship a minute before it ends up ramming into something. There we go. Now look at the amount of damage. We've ripped through another couple of decks here. Straight through the ship in some cases. If this was an operational battle cruiser right now, obviously they'd be moving around trying to evade. But they've been dealt some critical damage. I mean look at the damage here. Have we breached the bridge? I think the bridge is back here somewhere, isn't it? I don't even know where the bridge is on this ship, to be honest. Kraz hides his work. Oh, no, we're up here. Okay, so the bridge is still intact, but uh, you're not really going to have much luck getting down from it. It looks like everything else has been severed. Yeah, the elevator here, that's no longer working. The um, more small hangar bay has been breached as well. So if there's any crew on board this right now, they'd probably be dead. Let's go for another fire. And this time, I, I think, why don't we upgrade the laser system? So we've got a laser here. Why don't we go a little bit OTT, because you all want to see this. Let's get another laser. We'll mount another couple of them here. There we go. Now you know this is going to be fun. And fire. Or not. I think we overloaded it. Did we overload? 
I think we might have overloaded it. I'm not sure if I can have multiple ones on multiple grids. So it seems I could only put one on a ship at a time, but you can see here, it still causes a lot of damage. I mean, look at that. We're ripping through this battle cruiser. I can hear Kraz crying right now for the amount of damage we've done to this. I mean, look at that. We've just blown out the central reactor. And I'm coming around again because I want to see how much damage I can actually cause this. Let's shoot once. I think I accidentally buggered it up the other time by trying to uh, put too much power through with three lasers. I don't think I can do multiple and multiple grids. It might, um, it might glitch it out slightly, but oh well. Let's see if we can fire straight through the ship. Bring this around. Right, we're going to try and aim straight for it. I think it's working. There is a lot of explosions coming from that ship. Right, let's go and investigate the wreckage. How much damage did we cause? There is still explosions going on. So we fired through the back here. Continuing through. I think we cut through the actual whole thing. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. We managed to cut through the entire ship. So if anyone was on board that right now, they would be dead. Now there's one last thing I want to try. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we got a Star Destroyer off of our bow. Let's see if we can charge the laser. And uh, we'll see how much damage we can actually do to it. Right, shoot once. Charging. Should we see if we can cut the bridge? Right, let's see how much damage we can cause. We've got an Imperial Star Destroyer up here. These are the ones I usually use in the battle videos. Let's see how much damage we can cause this. Ready? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fire. And a bit. Oh, we are cutting through the armor plating. There's so much power. <laughs> Unlimited power. We're just cutting through this now so much. I think we've overloaded it. Oh, there we go. Wow. Let's investigate the damage on board the Star Destroyer. So imagine if this was... Oh, this is quite laggy. We've cut up so many blocks, it's lagging the game. <laughs> so imagine if this is in a battle scenario. This Star Destroyer would have sustained some critical damage right now. We've cut into the hull here. We've not damaged any of the key systems inside just yet. It appears we were just like shy of damaging the jump drive. So that could have caused quite an explosion. We managed to cut through here. Damage through the engines it looked like. But we have almost separated the bridge as well. I mean, look at that. There's only one thin wall holding us back. Let's charge the laser again. Atlas. Super laser. Shoot once. Have we caused damage to our bow? No, we haven't. Right, let's try again. We'll aim for those jump drive systems this time. Actually, no, let's aim for the bridge area. We'll cut the neck. And then work our way down. Charging weapon. Firing. Or not. Oh, oh no. We have we've got power. Right, scratch that. We should have separated the bridge. That looks like an explosion on that deck. Let's overdrive the thrusters a minute so we can cause some more damage. And there we go. We could have cut into that ship quite badly. Let's investigate the damage again. The Star Destroyer seems to have sustained quite a lot of damage. Explosions throughout multiple decks here. Wow. Now we cut in some of the jump drives there. So much so there's no, not even any smoke or anything. We've burned through it all. There's even holes on the other side. We cut through the entire deck plating. Wow. Okay, so we almost separated the bridge. Regardless, if you was in the bridge tower at this point, you probably would be dead as we've just cut through the arm plating there. But wow, the Atlas Super Laser. That's quite powerful. Now let me know, will you be downloading this mod? Because uh, this is so far a favourite of mine. So much so, I definitely want to include this in Connolly Wars somehow. I think it'd be quite fun. In the meantime, I've been Captain Jack, checking out this new brand new mod from the Space Engineers Workshop. If you want to download it for yourself, this is the Atlas Super Laser by Wizard Lizard. There is a link available in the description. Go and check it out and play with it. It is amazing. In the meantime, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll be back with you with some more Space Engineers videos very soon. Goodbye.